Hello, my name is Gabby and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here then welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be my fall TBR. Okay, I have a lot of goals that I need to meet before the end of the year. I have a lot of TBRs that I want to catch up to and maybe even finish. So to support those goals, I am going to be doing something that is kind of new to me, which is keeping the TBR short, because I really want to have some flexibility in November and December to just read what I want to. Anyway, I have four books kind of to talk about today. Their content warnings will be linked down below in the description, and let's just go ahead and get into it. is going to be Ace of Spades by Farida Abike Imide. Ace of Spades follows our two main characters who are selected to be a part of their elite school senior class prefects. This amazing start to the year becomes a lot more deadly, however, when an anonymous person named Ace begins sending text messages, reveal secrets about them that threaten everything that they've built and planned for themselves. This is one that has been calling out to me lately, and it's also Dark Academia, which I love that for the fall. It's also not a genre that I read a ton of, which I feel like I should because I feel like we're going to really get along once I actually, like, really get into it. I can't imagine not liking this book, honestly. I feel like I've only ever heard good things about it. It sounds really interesting, it has a fun playing card aesthetic, and it should be a good time. Next up is Hunting by Stars by Cherie Dimeline, which is the sequel to The Marrow Thieves. The Marrow Thieves takes place in a world where most of humanity has been destroyed by global warming, and the indigenous people of North America are being hunted and harvested for their bone marrow. As it contains the key to resolving why the rest of the population can't dream. This follows our main character and his companions as they run and struggle to survive with the goal of making it to the North. This is a series that I've been talking about on my channel a lot recently because it reminds me of the fall, so it's been on my mind. And it's time to enhance that feeling even more by reading the sequel in the fall. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this world and just getting to know the concept more because this is one of the more interesting concepts that I've read and that's just because of how they've utilized it so far throughout the story. I didn't leave the Marrow Thieves with the best relationship with our main character, so I'm hoping that that just works itself out and doesn't get worse. But there are plenty of other things that I enjoy about this series, so either way, it should be fine. Next up is The Atlas Six by Olivia Blake. This follows six talented magicians as they try to qualify for initiation into the Alexandrian society, where they will have a life of power, wealth, and prestige. Only five of them are going to be initiated, so they have to fight to survive the next year of their lives and prove that they are the best out of the rest of their rivals. This is one that I've read some mixed reviews on, and they do have me kind of worried especially for the pacing and the writing style but I do feel like I've really loved books in the past that I've seen kind of similar reviews of so maybe I'm testing my luck here but I'm hoping it's gonna be okay I feel like I might really like this story's atmosphere especially in the fall like I'm expecting something magical and dark and also kind of bookish and that all really excites me so I want to give it a chance I also feel like I've enjoyed books in like a similar theme genre in the past so I am nervous but I also feel oddly good about it and I hope it doesn't let me okay. down so remember at the beginning of the video when I said four books and then I said kind of this is why. Because next up is going to be Skip and Loafer by Misaki Takamatsu. Skip and Loafer is a romantic comedy that follows our main character who comes from a small country town but is chasing her dreams in a Tokyo high school, where she finds out that the social norms of city high schoolers are more out of her element than she originally thought. Okay, so this cover right here is my excuse for putting this in this video, but mostly my reasoning is that I miss these characters and just this series so much that it's starting to grow a little bit painful. And it does have an academia thing going on. It's more cute, wholesome, and inspiring than dark, mysterious, and bloody. But it still counts, and the anime did have some mystery to it when it comes to one of our main characters. Skip and Loafer became one of my favorite anime of all time, just alarmingly fast when it was airing. And it's really high up there, like top three. I adore this series, the humor, the characters, the relationships. So I need to get started on the manga, especially because I have a manga reading goal that seems very, very far away right now. And because of that, this is not the only manga series that I wanted to put in this TBR, but it's the one that I wanted to talk about most today because I feel like I haven't hyped up this series nearly enough on this channel, and I should be doing that. Like, that should be happening, so it is. I love about fall TBRs especially right now is that there are a lot of things that I read in the fall that I can also read in the winter and be just as happy 
probably. Which is not something that I can say for most of my poor summer TBR. I don't know, like I said earlier, there's so much that I want to read right now, I feel very unorganized. But we'll see how it goes and whatever happens, happens. Anyway, my five star predictions from this TBR are going to be Ace of Spades and Skip and Loafer. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and answer a question that will be around here if you want to do that. And hopefully I will see you here next time. Bye! Bye.